Hey, what's up, YouTubers? It's Random Builds and Random Fun, and welcome back to another video. Uh, today, we're going to be focusing on the front end of this mini buggy build. Uh, I'm going to start to work, if you can see this, around here, finish these A arms, and um, yeah, that's what we're working on today. Now, in the last video at the end on my outro, I did show this picture here, and uh, some of you guys did ask, like, hey, what the heck, it kind of changed, you know, since the last time you saw it. All I did is I cut out this part here, because it made it look like a boat, and then I just put that up here, actually, to, you know, for that use. So, yeah, let's uh, start working. All right, so uh, what I'm doing right now here, uh, that air, I need another one that comes out to here. So I'm going to cut a piece that's long enough. This one's obviously too short. But I'm cutting a piece that's long enough to reach out to here so I can build the thing that holds the tire. So yeah, let's start cutting. I have the key up. Let's see. Alrighty, this is what I got, um, right here, you know, let's see if you can see it, yeah, so that's what I got here, now, just two A-arms, I'm just going to repeat that on the other side, on that side, so, yeah. Alrighty, uh, now that I've got both sides on like this, what I'm going to do next, both sides, is I need to add a piece right in the middle that yeah thank you. it'll be like that in the middle but up front more I'm gonna cut it so that and then so when this thing goes up and down you know that piece is gonna pivot with it and that's where the um uh what's it called geez <sighs> tire where the tire and stuff is gonna be attached to is that piece so yeah I'm gonna do that to both sides weld up some tabs for it and then it should be Good to go. Alrighty, uh, so I got all of these on, as you know. And what I've been working on um, are these right here. Uh, I've got two of them. Yeah. And that's just going to go just like that. Um, and then, you know, as it goes down, it's going to stay straight once it's even. So. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld on some bars here so I can line up, sorry, so I can line up with these holes, put a bolt through there to hold it in, and then I'm going to get more piping here and then weld my bolt for the tire, and then this front part will be done after I finish the steering. Let's get started. Alrighty, uh, so this is what I've been working on. And what I've come up with, it's not perfect, you know, but it's pretty good. So when the thing, tire comes up and uh, down, it strays pretty much straight. I mean, it's not, like I said, perfect, but it's better than if you just had one singular A-arm. See, up here, but it's never going to compress that far anyway. It's only going to come up to about there. So, yep, that's what we're working with. <clears throat> now I just need to do that on the other side 
and we'll be done. All right, so I've now successfully completed uh, both of these A arms. It's a little tight of a fit, it's just, but yeah, goes up like that. Anyway, uh, now it's time for. Let me bring you up here. This here. We need a piece in here to swivel, you know, for steering and to hold on to the tire. So, um, I'm going to measure this and I'm going to put this in here. And then I did buy a step drill uh, bit thing to drill out three quarter holes here and here. Um, so, that's coming in Friday. Alright, so a lot has been done since you guys have last seen this buggy. Um... I have gotten the tires on. Pretty sure you didn't see that. Yep. I got this part of the roll cage all put in. Looks kind of good, if you ask me. Got this all done up. Um, got some sides here. So, yeah. That's what I've gotten done so far. Alright, so I just got my uh, bent pieces all done up. I think they look pretty good. I have three of them here as you can see. It slipped down. So now, what's next is I need. Here, let me show you the design I'm going off of. I kind of changed it. So, this is actually from Redbeard's Garage. So, I need this piece here. Swooping back. I already have this one. I need that one. On both sides, obviously. So, now I'm just going to do that. Alrighty, so I got these side mounts done. Here's what they look like. They look pretty good. I really do not like this here. It doesn't really match the whole look of the go-kart because it doesn't really flow. So I'm thinking I might try to redo it and do the straight shaft like this. Maybe, oh, maybe to go like that. Just to make it look a little more, you know, aerodynamic and stuff. So yeah. Um, I also did these. You probably saw that though. Yeah. And then, here are the, sorry for the lighting, U-joints. Um, I need two more of these big ones. That's for the rear independent suspension. I decided to go with that instead of a straight axle. And then this one is for the steering. So, yeah, these are all used as you can tell, but they're still in great condition. So, and I am getting bigger tires for the rear. They're probably, the ones I'm probably going to get are 24 by 10 by 12. Um, so they should be beasts. Alrighty. Alrighty guys, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I'm going to be posting next week on Friday, back to the normal schedule. I took a little bit off uh, the last two weeks because I was gone away from home. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more.